Hello guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to my channel. This is going to be one like chit chat uh, type of video about secondhand fashion. You know guys, I am big fan of secondhand fashion, of secondhand clothes. Started shopping exclusively secondhand since I moved here to Croatia basically, since I'm no longer working at H&M because in the past I worked for H&M for like 14 years and obviously um, because I was always there, you know, always um, surrounded with these clothes and latest arrivals and all this stuff, discount and whatever, um, to me personally, um, and I am a big um, addict when it comes to, you know, fashion, um, it was impossible to resist, you know, buying new things. But uh, now I really feel like... Um, I don't even need to go in a regular store. I find everything that I want and even more secondhand. I can find latest trends secondhand. I can even develop my own unique style uh, by just buying secondhand things. And not to mention that you obviously save up so much money. Um, nowadays, when I look at the retail prices of high street stores, uh, not to mention high-end designers, I'm like shocked. I'm like literally shocked every time I look at retail prices. And to me personally, it's exaggerated because uh, there are so many things, you know, that you can buy secondhand that are brand new because there is like this overproduction of clothes and accessories and just overproduction of fashion items in general. So that's why I am a bit more aware of that uh, and just, you know, trying to shop uh, in a conscious way. Also supporting other girls who just want to earn a little bit by selling their clothes that they aren't wearing anymore. So I feel it's really nice, you know, that we support each other in that way. I also have my own little store set up uh, where I sell my secondhand things. Uh, things that are even brand new, etc. Um, etc. Et it's my big passion, and I first discovered secondhand and all this secondhand uh, frenzy when I was living in London back in 2004. London had really big impact on me, you know, fashion and style wise, because um, yeah, I just um, you know, was in contact with uh, so many different styles and just uh, uh, street style influences and uh, everybody was so unique and wearing their own personal style and just doing their own thing, which I really loved because coming from like a small little uh, area, small background, I mean, um, here we always dress the same, um, we always look the same, etc. There was no really accentuating our personality with fashion, expressing ourselves with clothes, uh, it just wasn't happening. So it was really, really nice um, when back in 2004 I actually discovered this whole new passion, you know, for secondhand and well, this was quite long introduction to this video, but I actually wanted to share with you my recent find. It's a pair of Dr. Martin's boots. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Dr. Martin's footwear uh, ever since I was in high school. When I was growing up as a teenager, you know, Dr. Martin's um, boots were just a must. And uh, my way of expressing myself back then is I bought them in purple. Like, all my friends wore them in black, I bought them in purple. <laughs> um, and they still have them. Uh, back then they were like made in England. I believe they were all made in, in England. Now they still do have their own line, which is made in England, but it's a little bit more expensive. Whereas uh, others are made um, throughout the whole world, basically China, India, Vietnam. So uh, this is my uh, secondhand score. They really remind me on my first uh, first ever Dr. Martin's boots, which I still have and wear, but I have to admit they are even in better condition, <laughs> go figure. Uh, but, um, you know, I really like them. These are model Pascal, purple, and then they have got this uh, zebra print. And zebra used to have like this little um, fluff, <laughs> it's like uh, suede or something like that, but um, 
with time and usage i think it kind of rubbed off i don't know so now it's pretty smooth and these are a little bit destroyed as you can see i mean they aren't destroyed they aren't ripped or anything they're just scratched a bit and my old dr martins are also a bit scratched but not as much i actually scratched them on purpose because that was like the cool thing to do back then uh, you know they are supposed to be more used and more vintage so that's why I really did not mind when I found these a little bit you know scratched they are size 40 um, and uh, they are basically six and a half United Kingdom uh, Dr. Martin's Pascal these are made in China when it comes to Dr. Martin's sizing it's a little bit tricky nowadays I am size 40 but uh, my first ever pair which I still wear and it's still perfectly fine are actually 39 and they were made in England so I don't know if uh, they changed their mold since then or what uh, but this is just the way it is uh, so you have to be a bit careful when purchasing Dr. Martin's uh, boots. I think it also depends on um, which country do they come from. Um, this is just what my personal experience showed. So I got this for 10 euros. Uh, yeah, you heard it right, 10 euros. And it was just amazing price, I believe, for, you know, real leather Doc Martins that will last you for eternity. Uh, they are a little bit beaten but not too much just a couple of scratches which is perfectly fine because as I've said I really like this used look um, but uh, when I got them they were like extremely dirty I even filmed the entire process um, so I don't mind uh, you know them being a little bit scratch and everything the price was very very good obviously for a pair of Dr. Martens I never found them for such a low price but I mean they had dirt even on the soles um, so I was a little bit disgusted because uh, personally when I'm selling um, footwear at least I try to make it look presentable if it's a little bit dirty on the soles I try to clean it and remove you know the earth from the underneath so it's just a polite thing to do I guess but I got them, they were very dirty and um, initially I wanted to clean them with a cloth and uh, some uh, shoe polish but then I was like no way, like I'm not putting my feet inside of these, um, I need to wash them and it's like first time ever that this um, thought crossed my mind, can I actually wash Dr. Martin's boots um, and I googled uh, one video popped uh, on YouTube but it wasn't too helpful actually um, but I was like okay I got them for 10 euros um, apparently I cannot wear them because they're too dirty I'm just going to pop them in the washing machine and see what happens so first obviously with all toothbrush I just removed uh, all the earth and the dirt that was on the soles um, I just gave them like a, a first cleanse and afterwards I put them in a washing machine and everything turned out fine for me, you know. Um, nothing was damaged, they uh, turned out looking great. Obviously I uh, made sure to air dry them, not on direct sunlight and afterwards I applied very very good um, shoe polish and uh, moisturized them with um, these specific products for leather so overall I'm super super happy like for 10 euros they have uh, I won't say brand new Dr. Martens but they have Dr. Martens that are super cool a little bit vintage looking so that's pretty cool um, yeah guys I hope this video was uh, helpful for you um, and uh, I hope uh, with this video that I inspired you to buy more secondhand, be more conscious about your purchases and also if you uh, were wondering if you can clean your uh, leather items in the washing machine, my experience showed that you can do that. I actually also washed my leather jacket uh, that I bought secondhand and it turned out perfectly fine obviously I air dried it not on direct sunlight um, and then I apply some really good caring products for the leather 
but overall the result is really really amazing and you don't have to pay extra for dry cleaners uh, because sometimes that cost can really add up and sometimes it can be even more expensive than the item itself <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, it was a little chit chat about Doc Martens and secondhand fashion uh, please like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon in my next video if you have any requests uh, um, what should I film for you in the future just uh, leave it down below I'm happy to hear from you a big kiss from Croatia mm. bye